Hi, my name is Elke Fewer. I'm an author and a fiction book coach. Now, this time of the year, the beginning of the year, I find is the perfect time to look at how you can change what you've been doing before if you want to create a different writing life for yourself in the new year. Now, over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my uh, tips on how you can look assess and reset your writing life to make some changes to improve and create the kind of writing life that you want in the new year. So one area that I'm going to talk about today in this video that you can ch look at resetting in the new year to improve your writing life is your mindset. Now, some ways that to do with your mindset that you can look at is to stop self-sabotage. As writers, we often sabotage ourselves and we're our own worst critics, right? Now, so, and then self-sabotaging can look different for every writer. Um, for some, it might be just not showing up to your writing time when you've actually said it, or it can be something like not sending that pitch to the agent or publisher and you're self-sabotaging. And a lot of times you're self-sabotaging out of fear or other things, which leads me to the second area in your mindset to tackle, which is to face your fears. Now, when we have, uh, when we're trying to deal with our fears, a lot of times we kind of stick our heads in the sand and we're like hoping <laughs> that it'll either go away or it'll pass. And unfortunately, what happens, we end up in this uh, endless loop. And why I encourage, want to encourage you to face your fears. Now, what this looks like is just thinking about where it's coming from and what's causing it. Because although our fears don't always necessarily disappear completely, when we really face them and get down to the bottom of where they came from and what's causing them, it helps us to be able to create strategies to help us manage them when they do come along, instead of just burying our heads in the sand, hoping for it to pass, and just having it hold us hostage, right? We actually will have strategies that will help us to be able to manage those fears when they come along so they so that they do not sabotage us trying to achieve our writing goals. And the next step is to drop perfection. Oh my goodness. I know as writers we want to write perfect sentences, write perfect scenes, and a lot of times what that ends up doing is keeping us from getting to the end of the book, right? We're constantly editing while we're trying to write and going back to the beginning and changing things. And while sometimes that might work, unfortunately, when we hold on to that everything needing to be perfect, if it's keeping you from reaching to writing the end of your book, then it's really not helping and just need to let it go. And what I always encourage my clients to do is just to, when they're writing, don't Edit. Now I know that's easier said than done, but and also to hold on to the thought that once I get to the end, I can go back and edit and change because let me assure you, you are going to, no matter how perfect you think it is, you're going to have to go back and make changes. So the most important thing is for you to be able to get to the end and that's when you can go back and change and then at that point, make it perfect. Don't let perfection stop you from reaching your writing goal and or finishing that book. All right. The next area to tackle with your mindset is to practice gratitude. And this is a huge one because I find sometimes what we tend to do is we beat ourselves up. This isn't good enough. Um, and we focus on what's not going right, what's not working. But when we practice gratitude, it kind of shifts our mind for how we think. Instead of saying, well, I didn't get this writing done today, we can say, okay, well, I didn't get to sit down and write, but I'm grateful that I was able to write 500 words today. 
Um, and when we start uh, practicing gratitude for our progress, no matter how small we make and the things that we do achieve, no matter how small they are, it really shifts your mind to start thinking about and appreciating the little things and the little successes and not beating ourselves up we don't, when we don't necessarily reach those big goals, right? Because when we hold on to that, um, it's not working, I'm not doing good, I'm not good enough, it really can hinder us from getting to where we wanna go, which is achieving our goals. And practicing gratitude really helps you to shift your mind to focusing on what's working and also finding solutions, which leads me to embrace change. If you're stuck to the beliefs that, you know, I've been working on this book forever, it's never getting done, or maybe you're saying, you know, my writing's not good enough, or I'm never gonna get this done, maybe it's time to change your mindset. And how we do that is by embracing change. And what this means is looking at doing things a different way. Because often when we have those beliefs, we have certain things, maybe coping mechanisms that we're doing, and they're helping us to hobble along, but they're really not helping us to get where we want to go. And when you embrace change, you're open to new ideas and doing things differently. And that is when you really make a shift, not only in your mindset, but in your writing life. So I want to encourage you to embrace change. So what about you? Are What steps are you taking or you're going to take with your mindset to get you where you want to go in the new year? I would love to hear about them in the comments. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned, I am going to be doing a series and I also want to share with you about a workshop that I'm hosting next month and it's called Author Planning Day. And what it is, it's a three hour live workshop with me where I help you to plan out your goals for this year and so much more. And what we're gonna be looking at creating is, first of all, your goals. We're gonna look at the creating and setting the biggest ones that are gonna make the biggest impact, as well as identify what keeps you from achieving those goals, because that's equally important. And then we're also gonna be looking at mindset and diving a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna share with you uh, to help you identify some badass writer habits that you're going to need. And the next thing we're gonna look at is your books. We're gonna map out how you're gonna write and launch them into the world if that is part of your goal, okay? And then the next part, going to create your roadmap. And basically, this is how are you going to achieve those goals. And that roadmap is actually going to help you step by step of how to get there. All right, I hope, um, I will leave the link for that workshop in the comments so that you can check it out. Thank you so much. I hope that you will like, and as I said, subscribe to the channel so that you can not only um, get more tips and strategies about how to be a better fiction writer, but also to, to uh, learn about all of the things I'm gonna talk about in this series of how you can, uh, or some tips for how you can reset your writing life in the new year. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.